what's one of the things that almost everybody universally hates? It's, it's ads. I think with the exception of maybe like the Super Bowl, everybody gets, for whatever reason, gets excited about Super Bowl ads. But in general, everybody hates ads. You know, back before there was streaming in YouTube, everybody got annoyed by the ads. Um, now, you know, YouTube and, and if you're watching this on Rumble, you probably watched uh, a couple of ads before you uh, watched this video. And ads are annoying. And I, I'm not being critical of other um, <clears throat> organizations and, and whatnot, individuals that, that choose to, to run ads on their videos. It's one of the ways that, of course, makes things possible. The things that we do are, you know, it, it takes resources to accomplish the things that we do. And so one of the ways that uh, it, it, we pay for those things is through ads. But I wanted to do something different because I, I think my viewers, uh, the viewers of the Tree of Liberty Society are, are different. And I, I think you guys want to support content that is different that actually gets to the core of the issue. And so I'm here to tell you that uh, if you watch Tree of Liberty Society programming at treeoflibertysociety.com, you will never see an ad. We will not have ads be running before our videos if you watch at treeoflibertysociety.com. There is no, it'll, it'll still be free to watch. There's no catch. There's no obligation. There's several reasons I want to do this. And again, um, the re resources, you know, what, what, what people like the Tree of Liberty, organizations like the Tree of Liberty Society do is labor intensive, is resource intensive. I don't think most people that don't run organizations, even something as tight shipped as what we do, understand how resource and time intensive what we do is. And so just kind of before I get into why I'm not going to do ads anymore, I, I wanted to explain to you a little bit about my, you know, the average day, the things that I do. I spend anywhere between eight to 10, uh, eight to eight to 12 hours a day working on what we do at the Tree of Liberties Society whether it's preparing our weekly training for members, our live Q&A trainings that we do where we get together from all across, all over the world to come together to get um, in, educated and informed and build our understanding on key principles and things that we can do about it. Or I, I'm spending hours upon hours at uh, university libraries, uh, at, uh, at state archives, at religious archives, getting original documents uh, that can help prove what's really going on, help get you the data that you need to be able to come to an informed conclusion on a topic. Spending hours upon hours um, at these institutions, of course, the time to travel there, uh, the expenses in, involved in getting copies of documents, spending time negotiating uh, with individuals, private individuals, to be able to get access to um, their rare original documents. Um, producing content. Each video that's you know roughly uh, twenty minutes to an hour long uh, takes multiple times that two to four hours uh, to produce something that's like twenty minutes long. Um, there are all you know, spending the the time to dig through materials, being able to interview individuals, being hunting down individuals that need to be interviewed, looking up and trying to find government documents that they're trying to hide that they won't even give you through grammar requests. And so hours upon hours, every single day, and, and not just the time, but also the resources to go and access those things and the resources it takes to be able to, to buy um, a, the equipment and to, because everybody's moving away from ownership. Um, all of the programs that are needed are, are, it's not just you buy the program and you can do it. It is an ongoing re, uh, resource drain to be able to subscribe to all of the different things that I can do to be able to um, store uh, the data, to be able to uh, bring the data to you, bring, being able to have the editing uh, software and programs, and of course the, the equipment. And so it's very, very, very resource intensive and, intensive and, and constantly so. 
it's not like you just do one thing and it's it's all paid for and it's it's done. This is month to month of just dr- of of spending time and resources making sure that we're producing this in a way that is um, easily consumable. And so you know, and, and then and that's and then you have if you have other people that are helping out with that, it just exponentially uh, grows the resources that are needed. Uh, the, the space involved uh, to be able to, to have a place to do this um, very much resource intensive as well. So, um, so that's why people do this. That's why you see all kinds of ads before things like Alex Jones and uh, ads um, uh, if you on YouTube or on Rumble. Um, but uh, but I wanted to try something different. I, I think you guys realize how important it is that what what it is that we do and that you wanna be a support of that. And so I want to return that support and get rid of the annoying ads and say, here's the content. And if, you know, there are things that we offer on the website. And so those things will kind of maybe pop up or they'll be in the description of, of the article on, on the website. Um, but the, the video itself is not gonna be interrupted by some kind of sponsorship message. Um, we, we have sponsors, which we really appreciate. And if you'd like to be a sponsor, um, please reach out to us. We'd, uh, we, are, we really appreciate the support of our sponsors. And so we have uh, those that sponsor um, our, our content. Uh, their links are in the description of videos and the, in the links in the bottom of articles. And um, they are mentioned at the end of a video. Uh, but the video was not interrupted with ads. And so that's my commitment to you that if you go, if you come to treeoflibertysociety.com and you watch our content there, you will not see ads in the traditional sense of interrupting the program. And so there are a lot of different reasons. We want to bring people to the website because uh, just for an example, one of the videos that we just posted on election integrity would never be allowed on, on YouTube. And so if I were to post it on YouTube, it would give us another strike and we'd be taken off of YouTube. And so now we wouldn't have, you know, the ability to people even discover us on accident um, by having the, the YouTube channel. And so, but once people do discover us, we want to bring you over to the to tree of liberty society.com and watch the content there. Uh, because at any moment we would, we could be shut down off of, of, of YouTube. Uh, we could be kicked out of uh, Facebook and Instagram and all the different, um, uh, you know, social media platforms. And so if people aren't coming to the website and don't know about the website, then um, they can't discover us, you know, or it's much more difficult to discover us because uh, we are being, you know, uh, search banned on uh, Google algorithms and, uh, and shadow banned on the other platforms as well. And so we want to bring people over to the website and making sure that you're subscribing to our email alerts and our, our text alerts. So that way, no matter what happens to, uh, all the other social media platforms, you're still being notified uh, that we are coming out with new content when we come out with new content. And so we, we are trying to prepare for the day when we are shut down from all of the different platforms. I've had videos removed from Rumble, for example. Um, the, our books, Invasions Volume 1 and 2, have been completely banned from Amazon twice. And it's, you know, it's funny because I actually reached out to them and said, what policy did I violate? And they said, we reserve the right not to tell you. So they wouldn't even tell us why our book was banned. But of course, we know why, because it's getting to the root of the issue that you don't see elsewhere. And so they, they could not allow that to, uh, to continue. And so uh, we, are, we are banned from Amazon. And so that's one additional way that our material is making it much harder for individuals to discover by accident. We need people like you that are willing to uh, share these videos, share the links from Tree of Liberty Society onto whatever social media platform or to your email list or, you know, whatever ways that you share people, just, you know, you're in chat, uh, you know, groups and whatnot, sharing it there. Uh, So that way people can discover what we're doing because the powers that shouldn't be do not want anybody to discover what it is that we're doing. They want to hide what we're doing. You can see the attacks that have come on us in the past, attacks on my life, attacks on my family, attacks on my property because of what I'm doing. And so I want to thank you for your support. 
by not putting ads if you watch the content at treeoflibertysociety.com. And, you know, we, we will still be posting as long as we can. We'll start new channels um, as, as need be. And the, whatever those, you know, platforms do for ads, that, that's, that's on those platforms. But we want to encourage you to come to treeoflibertysociety.com and, and not worry about the middleman. Just go straight to us. And as a reward for you, for you doing that, I'm not going to put ads on the videos at treeoflibertysociety.com. And I hope that's something that's very useful to you. Hello? Sorry for interrupting your raccoons. What's up? I just cannot find Invasion Volume 1 audio. Do you know off the top of your head where it is in the portal? I'll just, I'll text it. I'll send it in the chat. Are you still here? Yeah, I'm upstairs. Oh, I'm leaving about that, 15 oh. minutes. I thought you were gone. That's why. Okay, cool. cool. I appreciate that. Okay, no problem. Bye. Bye. So we want to fight the censors. And a way to fight the censors is to invite you to come directly to treeoflibertysociety.com. Make sure that we can have this as a grassroots movement where all of us are taking the responsibility to share the content that is produced, to be able to build the understanding and so that we can take effective action to restore lost liberty and to route the conspiracy that we face. And so I encourage you please right now um, to, to do a couple of things, you know, share of course our content, I'm totally free to do that. Um, you can, and you can support our efforts by a, a one-time donation, um, it helps us really long term if you can help us by becoming a member of Tree of Liberty Society and uh, taking advantage of all of the content. To, to being a member of the Tree of Liberty Society really solves the, uh, your problem of really understanding what to do about what's going on because we provide you with trainings and helping you to be able to discern between, you know, false opposition, who is somebody that's pretending to be a uh, liberty but is actually uh, fighting for a uh, big government. Um, we help you, you know, kind of whittle down of what is effective action and what is ineffective action. So it solves that problem for you and it helps support us in the long run. We have hundreds, we have over a hundred uh, training sessions on the website for uh, our members. We have tons of uh, scans of original documents so you can do your own research and uh, books on there, audio books, uh, physical books that have been scanned and, and put on there for you to be able to to study and, and to read and to do your own research as well as uh, just ongoing action items that we can all take part in. So, uh, great solutions for you, uh, solves a lot of your problems and, and what you want to do to be able to work to preserve lost liberty and also helps it so we can continue to do those things. Another thing that you can do is to be able to go to um, our shop area and uh, get our books and share, share those books. If Amazon doesn't want you to know what's in Killing No Murder, then Killing No Murder is a book that you need to get and you need to, to spread around. Uh, if, if Invasion Volume 1 and 2 is a book that they don't want you to read, uh, it's a book that you need to get, you need to read, and you need to share with others. And so go to, to treeoflibertysociety.com and get your copy of Invasion Volume 1 and 2. We have it on audiobook or Volume 1 on audiobook still. And we have uh, Killing No Murder. We have uh, digital books of, those, of all three of those books as well, as well as our uh, cut. We have mugs and shirts and sweaters and different kinds of swags, stickers, that kind of stuff. Uh, helps you, helps uh, show who you are that uh, get the message out that we want to be the worst global citizen. We want to be able to support the principles of liberty and also helps uh, support the cause of liberty, directs people back to the Tree of Liberty Society. So those are all ways that, uh, that you can help. Um, but I wanted to give this gift to you of getting rid of annoying commercials. No more annoying commercials. Uh, but you know, I, you know, just like they, other organizations need those commercials to be able to keep going. Um, I'm asking you to say, I support what Tree of Liberty Society does. And I'm going to do that by sharing your content. I'm going to do that by making a donation. I'm going to do that by becoming a member. I'm going to, I'm going to do that by, um, by buying merch and, uh, and spreading the word about Tree of Liberty Society uh, to others. And so 
I uh, just wanted to let you know that. No more ads at treeoflibertysociety.com. And uh, we'll see you next time. Okay, go ahead, Jeanette. Come in. <laughs>